a, a little update video on work around the home front. I'm going to start with the barn. We lived here for, uh, I don't know, 25 years, something like that. And the uh, barn has always needed work. And you can see its paint job is the least problems with it right now. Talk about this in uh, previous videos and sharings that the foundation is in bad shape. Wood chucks come out from underneath that door there and from behind the wheelbarrow all along all along this foundation. Probably shouldn't shoot in this sunlight, can't see it, but you get the idea. And then this big corner over here, years ago a tree just basically grew right into the barn from this tree and it just uh it took everything with it when the tree came down. So a few weeks ago, I started making a uh, footing uh, form, to pour footing down in here, and I uh, never finished up because we changed our mind to have, having me do the work. We uh, consulted a friend who's really good at this sort of thing, and um, he agrees with the general plan I had, but he had more specifics on order of operation that's going to work out. So what he's going to do is start by uh, basically bit by bit lifting the barn and putting foundation in all along uh, cement uh, where wherever that turns out to be possible. Uh, let's go inside and you can see he's going to start on the inside. Those of you that have been in here before have seen it's pretty much a disaster. So I've actually tried to uh, clean it out some. So that's that corner where the tree grew in. And uh, I've put stuff up, piled it up along the side. You can see these support pillars I put in, I don't know, three or four years ago just just because. Um, and here's the other spot where I had started to dig out. And I would started to uh, make plans. I was going to pour the concrete in there myself. And that's the point where we said, well, wait, let's let's get someone who knows what he's doing. So. My friend John's going to be here on Monday to start, and what he's going to do is he's going to start right here in the middle. Um, he's going to put in two different posts. What he's going to do is he's going to cut out holes in that floor, and wherever wherever it goes down, he's going to pour concrete footings, and then put new pillars in like this all the way up to the top, and then he'll put a beam that runs the entire the entire length. So we'll have a big big support beam and at least two two new pillars that will go into that floor uh, and set into concrete. And then when he gets over to the edges here, he'll start mending these sections together. So he'll he'll continue with what I did here, which is he'll pour concrete into there and we'll dig out into here and same thing pour concrete along there. But right on this spot here, uh, see where that floor rafter is, we'll cut back and we'll tie in, uh, let me see my hand, uh, we'll put new floorboards over it. So what he's really, what he's really doing is just putting a, a footer right here and then we'll just have new uh, treated lumber going over there. And in the end we may do that sort of bit by bit, we'll see how it goes. But he'll do that also here, wherever he takes out um, the posts and puts the concrete in, we'll, we'll fill that up. Under, underneath this entire floor, we have, you know, basically you've got your rafters overhead like this. It, it mimics it underneath here. So we're going to sister up where necessary and then um, just tie in new wood as, um, as seems appropriate. So that's that's what's going to start on Monday. We'll see what happens there. In in the end, we hope to have the entire perimeter uh, of the barn with concrete or cinder block or footing something, but probably concrete. Here's here's the backside. So this this will all get lifted up there. These are some old parking uh, concrete uh, blocks. We'll pull those away, and new footings will be put in there. And oh yeah, that's how we're going to drop. Uh, Treated, treated lumber down into there, uh, two feet deep, and sandwich that with a piece of uh, galvanized um, uh, metal to keep uh, woodchucks from digging back in. You can see how far away from the barn they 
they tend to want to go. They, they're just they're relentless when they get into there. They, they've actually seemed to disappear for the last, last week. I haven't seen anyone around. Um, but that's, when I, that's what's going to happen in the back. And when all the uh, concrete work and, and footings work is done, uh, these are doors that friends of mine and I built several years ago when we moved in. So we'll, we'll redo this whole, whole line here, put in new walls, new doors, new doors in the middle. Um, back over here on the other side. Uh, this door might stay for now, but it should get replaced. And then this whole wall has to get, uh, that window has to come out. And I don't know if we're putting in one or two windows, but we'll put in at least at least one new window along this wall. So we'll reframe all of that and then put the clapboard setting back up. So that's the barn. And in the meantime, doing a lot of work in the yard, started over here last March where along our fence, just daylilies and other uh, assorted um, plants. Haven't done much in this section. These are rocks that I've been, we've had for years and I've added to them as I've been digging up. But in March I started digging along here and got rid of a lot of shrubbery. Now it's starting to, some of it's growing back. I either need to mow it or uh, probably can't see it in that shadow. Um, need to mow it or dig it out. But then, of course, uh, the big project was the garden, garden boxes. So we took out old garden boxes and built this new one. And Eileen has lots of nice plants growing in here now and she knows what they all are. I don't really, but zucchinis or something going wild over there. And uh, so this is kind of fun to have. Nice to see green plants and vegetables. And then this week, uh, I painted the fence. So I got a couple of coats of white all along the back fence that goes around there. So progress is coming bit by bit. And uh, that's what's going on at Woodward Manor.